1993, the Hard Hats of Post-22 won their first and only national title. It was a team that had great pitching, solid coaching, and timely hitting, and its best player was a skinny shortstop named Mark Ellis. He was 14 years of age. I, I saw him. I knew that he was going to be a good one. Then he came to us as 15, and, and he was probably a little bigger than a peanut, but uh, so we didn't want to put him out there, but we knew that he was going to be a good one. So he played on our two younger clubs, and he played a lot of games. And then when he was 16, he moved in, regular shortstop, and uh, we went all the way and won the World Series. After a successful career at the University of Florida, Mark was drafted by the Kansas City Royals and then traded to the Oakland A's. After spending the first nine seasons of his career as an Oakland Athletic on June 30th, Mark Ellis got some bittersweet news. The bad news was that he'd been traded. The good news was that he got to come here to Denver, Colorado to play for the Colorado Rockies. You know, I was excited to come here to Colorado and, uh, you know, growing up close to here, I know what kind of fans they have here. I obviously know what kind of team they have, you know, playing with uh, Troy Lewis has been fun, you know, and, uh, but it's tough, it's tough leaving Oakland, you know, that's, uh, that was 10 years of my life, you know, uh, growing up with some of those people, you know, and uh, the clubhouse staff and, uh, you know, they treated me really well over there, but um, I was also excited, I could get over here and uh, start playing right away. The Rockies have played seven different players at second base this year, so having a veteran presence like Mark to stabilize the position has been a big step forward for Colorado. It's been great so far. Um, you know, hopefully I get to stick with one here soon, and hopefully he's the guy. Um, he's been a great addition. Uh, I grew up an Oakland A's fan, so I was very familiar with his game. Um, and getting a chance to play with him now, it's everything I saw and more. Now that Mark is a member of the Colorado Rockies, his life has come about as full circle as it can get. He's left his mark on Fitzgerald Stadium, and his legacy lives on in Rapid City through his nephews, Dante and Dimitri Bledsoe. We, we've seen it, like spring training and stuff, how he, how he prepares for a game. And other players tell me that I played with him, you know, he did the same thing, little things every day. That's, that's what got him where he is. Right now, the future is uncertain for Mark. He's a free agent at season's end, and he's ready to take the next step in what has been a very nice major league career. Wherever that step may take him, one thing is certain, as long as there is baseball at post-22, Mark Ellis will always be a hero in Rapid City. Reporting for Black Hills Fox Sports, I'm Corey Kopic.